Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of our novel talk, the podcast where we dive into the captivating world of literature. I am your host, Lawrence. And also, my co-host. Pearl, today, we have a special treat for you. We'll be discussing the intriguing novel Caroline by Gail Gaiman. Joining me is my fellow book enthusiast and grade 11 students. Let's all welcome Nita Rico and Charlene. Hey guys! Thanks for having us here. We are excited to talk about Caroline by Neil Gaiman. Absolutely! And so, let's start by giving the listeners a brief overview of the book Caroline and it is a trailing novel written by Neil Gaiman and published in 2001. And it also follows the story of Caroline, a young girl who moves into a new house only to discover a hidden door that leads to the parallel world. The world parallel known as the other mother's domain seems perfect at first. But soon Caroline realizes that it's a trap. She must find a way to escape the clutches of the other mother before it's too late. That's right, Pearl. The novel takes readers on a suspenseful journey filled with mystery and danger. Coraline finds herself torn between two worlds and must summon her courage and wits to confront the other mother and protect her loved ones. Definitely, and one of the things that struck me about this book was Gail Gaiman's exceptional storytelling ability. And also, he masterfully waves together elements of fantasy, horror, and coming-of-age themes. The way he describes the parallel world and the character is so vivid that readers feel completely immersed in this story. I completely agree. The atmosphere Gaiman's create is eerie and captivating. As readers, we are constantly on the edge of our seats, experiencing the same emotion and uncertainties as Caroline. Absolutely. The tension builds up throughout the book, and I think when you start reading it, it would be hard for you to put it down. I agree, Lawrence. Now, let's talk about the characters. Nita, can you tell us the characters of the story? Well, the main character is Coraline. The protagonist is a relatable and brave young girl. We see her growth as she faces her fears and learns valuable lessons about bravery, friendship, and family. The other mother, on the other hand, is a complex and menacing antagonist. Wow! Gaiman creates a character that is both alluring and terrifying, which adds to the suspenseful atmosphere of the book. That's true, Pearl. And speaking of atmospheres, Gaiman's writing style plays a significant role in setting the tone for the story. His use of descriptive language and vivid imagery transport readers into this dark and mysterious world. It's almost like we are right there with Caroline, exploring the hidden corridors and encountering the strange and unsettling characters. Well, yeah, and let's not forget about the underlying things in the book Caroline. Touches on the importance of bravery, facing one fears, and the power of imaginations. It also explores the complexities of relationships both within families and friendships. I can conclude readers can relate to the Caroline's journey and find inspiration in her resilience. Definitely, Pearl. It's incredible how a book can resonate with readers on levels. Coraline has a dip that makes it appealing to both young and adult readers. Well, I agree. It reminds us that even in the face of darkness, there is always hope and the strength to overcome challenges. Absolutely. Thank you, Nita and Charlene, for having you guys here and talk about the novel Caroline, and it was nice meeting you all. And before we wrap up, I want to highlight the impact of Caroline had since its release. It has received critical acclaim winning several awards and captivating the hearts of readers around the world. Gail Gaiman's storytelling powers continue to make a lasting impression. Overall, Caroline is a captivating read that will keep you on the edge of your seat till the very end. It's a perfect example of how fantasy can be used to explore complex themes and emotions.
Thanks for listening to our podcast on Caroline by Neil Gaiman. We hope you enjoyed it and will join us next time for another exploration into the world of literature and storytelling.